Have you ever started an adventure where the player characters have nothing, not even their clothes? Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. The first time I did this, it was sort of accidental. The party ran into a random teleporter. There was a teleportation mechanism that would teleport you to a random place. And so the party leaps into the teleporter and they end up in a large room that has several statues in it. And there's a set of double doors on each end of the room. So the party makes a little bit of noise as they're trying to figure out where they're at. What they don't realize is that they're at an entrance to uh, my what I call my big dungeon, one of my mega dungeons, as you'd call today, that is an uh, entrance from the Thieves Guild. So they've interrupted in the other room and a meeting of the Thieves Guild. So the room that they are in, they don't realize, has all these murder holes designed to stop anything coming in. And so as they're exploring this room, they suddenly hear, Drop your weapons! And after some verbal exchange, they suddenly realize they're in a precarious condi condition. So the Thieves Guild... A bunch of them, there were 20 thieves that were relatively high level, come walking into the room from both ends, and they immediately gag and tie up, well, they immediately gag and then strip every character down to nothing but their whatever God graced them with when they were born, as the saying goes. So they're naked as the day they were born. They tie up their hands and fingers so that there's no way they can cast any spells. They gag them so there's no way they can cast any spells. And they have no components because they took everything. They're naked. They're tied up with a, a rope and the thieves do the classic thing. We're not assassins. We're not going to kill you, but you've irritated us because you didn't follow our instructions to put down all your weapons. They tried various things to do things uh, to escape. So the Thieves Guild leaves them in this condition, in this room, and they bar the way out so they can't go out the way the thieves leave. So the only alternative is to go the other way, which is deeper into the dungeon. So the party has a dagger. The thieves leave them a single dagger and they're tied together with six feet of rope. And they manage to get their way loose because the thieves designed the knot so that they could actually escape. They didn't want to kill them. This is the classic uh, ploy that we didn't kill them, we just put them in a situation where circumstances may cause them to die. By the way, if you're interested, that is the, the plot of the dialogue of Socrates called the Euthyphro, if you want to read that. But it's an interesting moral question that goes way back to ancient Greece. So they're, but they're alive. They're in the dungeon. They have six feet of rope and a dagger, nothing else. Well, the party immediately does what a, they try to figure out what, we're, what they're going to do. So they start by going to the other door that is not completely barred. And they take the pins out of the door. So they've got the door. They try and hack off a piece of the door so it's a little bit smaller. And they, as a DM, I let them do that. They break the door into two pieces. Now they take the rope and cut it into two three-foot sections and then drill holes into the pieces of door and make a crude wooden shield out of half of a door. So now you've got a half of a door for your character for two characters of the party and then they're wandering through the dungeon. This was this was a hilarious start because now they're everything that they come across 
they try and carry, but they have no backpack to carry it in. They have, you know, anything that is a container or whatever. It's a very different kind of adventure because they're now in for survival. They're trying to survive. They're trying to, to get out, to get back to civilization and so on. And this is an interesting start to an adventure. If you want to, you could do this to your player characters that they start off and they get hijacked by a bunch of thieves who take everything. And if the party resists in any way, they take everything, including their clothing. If they follow the rules and are gracious to the thieves in some sense, they leave them with a, a little bit of modesty, shall we say. They take anything that's of value and uh, that they could possibly sell. It's another alternative to this, oh, we meet up in a tavern. No, what happens is that the, you're uh, coming to, you're walking down a blind alley, you get a uh, sack thrown over your head, and uh, you're tied up and stripped, and you end up in a room with other people and you have when you get your, the sack off of your head that's all you have is the sack and the piece of rope that tied you this is an alternative that is kind of rough on the party but it's it's an interesting start because it's not like the party is all prepared and have all this equipment and all these things and if you're playing that they have to have spell books to, re to relearn their spells you don't get spells because you don't have any spell books. Everything is gone. And the characters start from scratch. And they have to find everything. And it, it can cause an interesting uh, approaches to a variety of challenges. Just keeping warm, having water. Everything about it puts a very different tone to the adventure. You only want to do this to the party once. <laughs> the player characters don't like it when they keep getting robbed. But I'd like to hear your comments. Have you ever robbed the party of everything down to their clothes? Have you ever started an adventure where the characters start off with nothing? I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate all your comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I appreciate both forms of feedback. If you're new here and would like to subscribe, you can click on the icon on the left. If you're interested, there's more content on the right.